Howdy soldiers, Sergeant Fury here. Hope everyone's getting that challenge done today, right? Because, you know, tomorrow they're going to roll over, so jump on there and get that Predator done, get that um, Yeti, which is the easy one. They're actually all easy. Come on, you watch my videos, you saw how I did it. Plus, right now you can do matchmaking, right? You can go in there and pick special missions, and there's a shitload of people you can go out there and do them with. So, shouldn't have any excuse for getting them done. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to show you this is a quick guide for those using the AMD chipset video card, like me. Guides for Ghost Recon Wildlands. However, you can also use this to set up all your games. Okay, all the manufacturers make a software control panel, right? Software to control how your video card works, right? They have software in there to set up your games and video capture. Some of them have, you know, both of them have, and editing and streaming and all that. What most people forget to do is set up the video card to work, to do the work of the rendering in your video game. Instead, they just install the software drivers that allow the video card to work correctly with your version of Windows along with the above software. Okay. Then they fire up the game, check the video settings, make sure to max out everything they can. When you start playing however is when the problem starts, bad frames per second, hanging, freezing, crashing the desktop. Then they start freaking out. Most of the issues because the video card software and the gaming software are trying to do the same job at the same time. So they start working against each other, obviously. And then your CPU starts freaking out because it's trying to do all the work, right? So if you have an AMD video card and you set this software up, you allow the video card to do the work, not your computer. Now, this is how old my computer is. Yes, you're not, you're not tripping. This is... um. If I'm using this thing. What are we in 2018, right? Okay, so you're looking at I, I have a nine-year-old system. It's still using the Truckee chipset with the 858 chipset, right? And this is basically what it can take, right? Now, this is what I actually have in it. Okay, I have the original board, obviously, with the i7-950. Okay, so I'm barely, I don't even think I meet the minimum specs to play Ghost Recon. And I do have 12 gigs of RAM in there now. Now I'm running three hard drives. I got three, two, three uh, terabytes, two of them. And I just put in a four terabyte because I had to free up one of these three to clone it. So I could, as I'm building my new system. And it did have a pocket media, which is basically, you know, like a um, notebook hard drive, a 2.5. And, but, um, I took that out because it's sort of useless. And I do have a Blu-ray player in there because, you know, I played occasionally when Blu-ray was popular or we were doing all that stuff. And I have a burner. And on the front panel, it's cool. It has, you know, all the bells and whistles. Basic networking. You know, nothing fancy, obviously. Um, same with the wireless LAN sounds. You're basically same thing we all have. And, but I do have a good graphics card in there, right? And older, yes, granted, and I do have a good power supply. So this is, if you're running an AMD card, you're going to have the same front end. Now, the AMD Evolve is their gaming front end program that they have. Immediately uninstall that. You do not need that. Same if you're running NVIDIA and you're watching this. You don't need that NVIDIA experience. It's actually just bloatware and it causes more problems. NVIDIA, you can go in there and set up your games individually in the control panel. And I am going to run up another computer with an NVIDIA card in it to show you how to do it all on that one too, on a spare computer. So what you're going to do is on the Raytheon, you're going to go to gaming, the first tag, tab, and you're going to go down here to you see Tom Clancy goes to Recon. If you don't have it, you can click on add, scan, and it'll scan your computer and it'll put it in there. Okay. Once you click on that, It'll take us to this screen right here, okay? Now, we're, don't mess with the profile, the profile options, or the, uh, you know, Radman property thing. You don't, just all we're worried about is the game. Now, you, what you can see is we're going to override the game software, okay? And we're going to max out the anti-aliasing. We're going to run multi-sampling. Morphological filtering is going to be on. Right? We're going to override the astroscopic filtering, have that at 16x, right? And performance for your texture and, feel, and quality, this is important, okay? Because you're already going to get really good looking picture. 
but you want that frames per second. Okay, you're gonna do surface optimization, right? You're gonna turn off your V-Sync. We don't use triple buffering, don't worry about that. Shader catch, you wanna AMD optimize it, and you wanna get your Teslization mode optimization. And if your TV or monitor or whatever supports it, do this free sync. Okay, then don't worry about this. Okay. Then when you get in the game, okay, you're gonna go to your video settings first, right? I'm running it right now this because when I might build my new computer I'll be able to run it at 4K. Okay, but I, I'm gonna show you my my specs at the bottom because I have all the parts here. Uh, like I said I was just got done um, backing up all my videos and stuff to that four terabyte because I had a wazoo Z like two terabytes of videos so now I can clone my main hard drive and then build my new system okay so scaling you're not gonna mess with v-sync you're gonna have turned off refresh rates it's gonna be what you're running at this is important make sure your frame rate limits at 144 because you're not gonna go higher than that anyways okay then on the graphic side okay Anti-aliasing you're going to turn off. Ambient you want to have on. Draw distance, we can't go any higher. Level of details, max, that's max. Anthroscopic you want to turn off. And the reason is because, again, your video card, you want it to do the work. This is where it is. You want it to do the work. You don't want the software in the game to do that. And you can see whether if you have a high-end 8-gig card, you're, we're, not be, we're not using it because of this. If they let us go on our draw distance, you know, the higher than what it is would be rocking, right? Okay. Then the rest of the graphics, I scroll down. I'm going to show you the rest of them. Terrain, I went ultra, ultra, turf. You have that on. Motion blur, you don't need that. It's retarded. Iron sights, depth of field, I have that on, right? So when you have it, you, your weapon looks blurry like it would be in real life because you're going to be focused on the targets, not on your sights, right? If your sights are are in in if you're able to see your sights you can't see the target because you can't focus on both at the same time we got some high depth quality field. depth of field bloom god rays right same thing motion blurs off right god rays subsurface scattering lens flare long range ultra right all right we're all clear okay you do all that stuff and even though i'm in the control panel right now when i get out in the game i usually get 40 to 60. yeah sometimes it'll go lower you know, sometimes it depends on what part of the wildlands I'm in, but I get good stuff. This is the PC I have all the parts for. And like I said, since I just got done cloning my hard drive, um, like I said, I took and cloned everything onto this four terabyte. So this is the one I'm going to put together, which it's not super high end, but it's actually a really good system. It's actually got some, you know, good, good solid processor and a good gaming motherboard, great RAM. You know, I got, I'll have two hard drives, really good video card. I got this during the, uh, the Amazon Prime sale. So, because this normally runs about 350 or so, so like a really good video card there. I'm a, and of course, I want to have my Thermatake, great case, got a good, and then of course, I'm bringing my power supply over from my old PC. So, yep, I only spent a, a thousand bucks for all them parts. So, you know, but yeah, I know you, a lot of you might get them for less and, you know, but again, it's not bad. You know, this is actually a really good processor to run. You know, it's not the i7, but it's, trust me, it'll whomp the crap. It's, it'll beat the shit out of this thing up here that I'm running right now that I'm doing this video on, right? I mean, seriously, look at that. Again, you know, so, yeah, you know, look, you know, so again, you know, but this computer served me well. What I'm going to do with this one is... I'm going to put the 460 watt power supply back in it because that's enough to run this the um, this video card that's in here right now, this this one, um, and then I'm going to use this for my streaming PC. So I'm going to have my gaming one, and then it'll output to this one, and this one is what I'll, I'll output to the web, so I can do YouTube and Twitch and all that crap and video editing. I'll do it all on this one because I'm doing it on this one anyways. It'll be fine. So, nope. So, like I said, and this one, Incoming originally, like I said, control. I bought for dirt freaking cheap, man. 250 bucks on shopgoodwill.com. And at the time, it was approximately two years old. So, a lot of these corporations will on. donate these computers to Goodwill, Salvation Enemy Army, here in the United States, and get a tax write, big tax write-off. 
because yeah, originally it was like about 1500 or something like that so again I got a good deal for 250 bucks and all again all I did was throw a little bit more RAM in there and a better power supply in my video card and it's ran great and of course Windows 10 I don't have that up here but I didn't put Windows 10 in here too I guess I could I could I could include that in here right now so um, but yep that's what I like I said this is I don't mean I'm in read mode so I can't edit it but yes yeah, so I'm running Windows 10 obviously 64 bit so again, this is the only thing you really got to do, and you can do this for all your games. So, you know, it's not a big, it's not a big trick, you know. But again, your games will run a lot better. And I specifically did it for somebody on Reddit. You know, I'm, he'll know who he is because I'm going to put the post up here right now. But this is too much to write in there and all that crap. So I thought I'd do a quick video, a lot, lot faster. So again, I am going to show you guys. Um, I don't want to specifically show you companies. I'm going to hit up the company and say, look. I want to send people to you guys, but you know I don't really want anything for it other than a thank you. That's it. You know what I mean? Because I think they're straight up guys, and I think you'll get a decent system out of them. So I'm gonna have to sort of go to one with one company. Uh, I could do two or three or four. I might do that. So, but again, don't sell yourself short, people on console, and then you gotta spend thousands and thousands of dollars. You know to get a new computer this is actually again this is pretty on the high side what I I have over here you don't have to go with this video card right here you could go like I said there's a, a lot of other cards out there that are in the hundred dollar price range so you know to knock a couple hundred bucks off and you don't have to have a 750 I recommend it uh, but 450s will get by you know so most of the time what's in the case you don't have to go with this case this is actually a pretty nice case you definitely don't have to run this right here these are 360 millimeter fans um, but I want to make sure my CPU stays cool and my whole case stays cool because these cards are gigantic you know and so you know like I said I want to push a lot of air through my system you know and again even with the RAM you can go a lot less you know you don't have to go with the RGB this is basic color all this is color stuff because the I think the mic I think my case is red, has red LED lighting in it. So that's the reason I decided to go with the red. So it's sort of, I have like a red PC set up there next to the uh, TV. Oh, and I didn't put that up here either, but I'm using a 70 inch um, Ultra. I can put that in here. So um, I think I have that up there. I might have that up there somewhere. But anyways, I want to get this video up so he can look at it and um, let you guys know. It is very possible to get um, get your shit done. Heads up, hostels in the area. For a reasonable price. Matter of fact, I could put the. Um, let me put the. Uh, okay, all clear. Uh, can I do my editing here real quick? Piece of shit. I'm not gonna have you. I'm not gonna bore you guys, but I thought I would go ahead and throw it in here. We'll see what the price is. Okay, I already know what it's gonna be. This is gonna be my. Um, my Vizio uh, E E70. Oh yeah, well I'm rocking hard, man. Oops, sorry. But look at the price I got this for. This is crazy, man. This is a 2019 model. This is crazy, man. They had it mispriced at uh, Walmart. So. Don't ever say you can't get good shit at Walmart. So that would add another $750, obviously, to this price right here, right? So that would make that how much kids? Right? Seven seven sixty one, right? So that's 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 this is what makes it right here. I'll tell you that right now. This thing having a seventy inch ultra, you know, because I could get in the resolution I can go to in the game. Is rocking. Oh yeah, I've been I've been running the game the whole time too. 
like I said, so, I mean, it looks so good, and this is only 1080p, like I said, wait till I, um, I get this new, I'm just in the process of putting everything together right now, see, then I'll be able to go, um, I'll show you this way, I don't know, let me go this way, that'll be the max, I'll be able to run that at 4K, this game. Then you guys will be rocking when you watch this on YouTube. It'll be like freak. It'll be freaky. I mean, it looks, it looks gorgeous right now. The way the game looks, it looks freaking gorgeous. And of course, 70 inch TVs are just to give you an idea how big a 70 inch TV is. Okay, it's five feet long. Okay, and four feet high. <laughs> That's how big a 70 inch. Because I had a 55 inch TV, and I thought that fucker was big. And when I brought this thing home and set it up, I was like, holy frickin' moly. Man, it was like, I couldn't believe. And now, and now um, Samsung has an 86 inch. They're selling right now an 86. The next one you guys can run out and buy. But now this 70 rocks. This thing, even in 1080p, it looks good. So again, until I see you guys uh, later on. I know I made this a little bit long, but you don't have to watch all this. Sorry. I think you can put down in the notes that I stopped. I stopped the uh, other shit, but nope. I just want to let him know that. Yeah, my settings are only 42. You know, with this old system, he's got a lot better system than I have. So once I get the new one, I'd be up there in the 60, 70 frame rate. But it also changes depends on where I'm at in Bolivia and what I'm doing. But again, you know what I mean. Don't sweat the small stuff. Oh, and he was worried about his GPU. That's why I wanted to show you the last thing. Okay, yeah, your GPU, you should be using 100% of your GPU, bro, when you run a video game. That's, that's, uh, that's normal, okay? That's, so don't freak out when it tells you that that's normal. You know what I mean? See, and like I said, I got an old system, so that's why I'm rocking a lot. You know, I'm running a lot, I'm doing a lot of crap like right now. I got Steam running, I'm running the launcher, I'm recording video. You know, I got Word open, I'm running the game, I got 19 Google Chrome things running, so, but yeah, your GPU should be at 100% when you run a video game, that's perfect, perfect. This will go down, if I had all the other shit closed, I would be about 24%, same with the memory, but since I'm running so much other crap right now that I'm doing with you guys. So again, don't sweat the small stuff, and I hope this video helped. And as always, this is Sergeant Nick Fury. Addy, soldiers.